Volatility, it is staring you in the face, but how do you handle all these vicious price swings? Wait it out on the sidelines or face the challenge and trade into the vol? Richard Anthony is here to answer that question. He leads the Derivatives and Equities Desk at BGC Partners. Richard, good morning to you. Hello, sir. So before we get to that question, how about this question? Are you prepping your clients for more volatility? Is that what you expect? Is that what they expect? Absolutely, and we're also prepping for volatility of volatility. Yes, the vol of vol. Uh, why don't we explain a little bit? It, it's a very jargony expression. So tell, tell our, help our viewers to understand what that means. Well, sure. Volatility is an asset class, really. And it's an asset that, that in itself is a controversial statement, but well, I'll let you continue. Per perhaps. But in the world of derivatives, where I spend my time, volatility is one of the four moving parts inside of an option. Thus, you can harness it, you can use it, and you can make it an opportunity. You don't have to make it fear and panic. Okay, so when we see the VIX, the CBOE volatility index surge as it has recently, hitting 48 last week, yesterday up to 42.67, you shouldn't get scared. You shouldn't sit on the sides, not, sidelines necessarily. There are ways to trade vol and invest in vol that it can actually enhance your returns and maybe cushion some of those declines? Well, absolutely. It's nice to be involved in volatility before the move occurs, sure. and then you can use it as an opportunity. You can use volatility to hedge. You can use volatility to make investments in securities that you've always wanted to purchase. So when vol is very high, single stock vol is even higher. So what are you recommending people do right now? Well, those who have cash, those who have the ability to use today's climate as an opportunity, Put vol is very expensive right now. So if there's securities that you like, you can sell put options at very high prices. So effectively, you then, when things return to normal, you're earning a nice little return for offering those freaked out investors an insurance opportunity. Precisely. Use vol as an opportunity. Harness it. It can help hedge your portfolio, and it can help make investments for the future at great prices. Okay, that's perhaps on a single stock basis, as you point out, the volatility of single stocks higher than the overall market. What about hedging volatility? What do you recommend? Do you think investors should use the ETF, the VXX, S&P puts, or VIX futures? Well, I'm not a futures guy. I believe in the non-linear return profile, so I like optionality. But yes, you can use VIX options. You can use options on the spiders, the IWM, the triple Qs. And if you want to get involved in hedging today, you probably want to look at a put spread as opposed to just buying naked puts because a put spread allows you to sell a out of the money put against a put you purchase at a higher implied volatility. So it allows you to get in at a reduced cost. Richard, let's go back to what you were saying at the very beginning. Volatility as an asset class. I said it's a controversial statement because go back to where we were before the flash crash last year and nobody, or very few people were thinking of it as an asset class. If you invested in vol, if you traded in and out since then, you might have made yourself a great deal of money given what's happened in the market. What kind of volatility should we expect going forward? It's not going to stay at 40, but it's probably not going to go back down to single digits, is it? Well, single digits was a very unusual occurrence. 15 seems to be the low that's been in place for the past. Post-crisis low, post as it were, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's always been a time when vol is at 15, you probably want to start to look to insure your portfolios. Having said that, probably for the next few weeks or even months, we're going to see a higher average vol. Maybe we're going to see vol 25 to 55. The high on August 8th was 49. Then we went straight back down to the low 30s. Here we are again. Today we probably test 49 again. Does it surprise you, though, that given the violent market swings of the past week, that vol, the, we're talking about the VIX again, it's the volatility index trades on the CBOA, did not exceed 48, that we didn't see something closer to what we saw back in late 2008? Well, late 2008, we hit 90 intraday, and 
I would say that there was probably a little bit more panic in the world, but your point is very well taken. We easily could get back to those levels because there's a lot going on in the world, and that's something that people should be very aware of, that if we make new lows, we're certainly going to go back into the 50s, maybe the 60s, and even the 70s. It's a dark vision of the future, Richard, but I know... It sounds as though, anyway, you're having a little bit of fun with it. Great to see you here. Richard Anthony, he heads the Derivatives and Equities Desk at BGC Partners, an expert in volatility.